Good morning, lights. If I ask you what your dream life would be, what would be your answer? A life with no worry? A life of pure bliss, perhaps? A life free of pain could also be an option. Either way, the choice is yours. Only you can decide what your dream life would look and feel like. Today, I would like to talk to you about manifesting that life and bringing it into fruition. Did you know that you could manifest a life so specific to your wants and needs so that you could be the one to create that dream life. Anything you manifest can come true. There are those who are ready to steer their own spiritual development and they are welcome in our family. They are ready to take action to bring about positive change. We are the family of light and we have come to earth for one purpose to usher in a new paradigm of peaceful co-creation with the spiritual realm so that all beings may enjoy life here. You are all the catalysts for this change. You are not in this role as light laborers. You are physically manifesting on earth so that you may serve as an anchor for frequency and help other people access it. After seeing this method yourself, you decided to share it with everyone on earth, the world and your reactions to it are both subject to change throughout time. You will no longer be the you that you are now but rather a part of the vast network of other yous who share your yearning for enlightenment. The more we ground our vibration, the more energy and brilliance we radiate. We have an effect on earth as a whole today because our hearts and souls are intertwined. We may bring about a larger change in awareness than has ever happened before. If we keep bringing light into our bodies and souls, we have been given the chance to be a part of something far larger than ourselves. The efforts of the family of light are bringing about positive change in our planet. Every now and again, we need to force ourselves out of our routines and into the unknown with confidence and bravery. As a highly evolved entity, your strength resides in your capacity to not only create new realities, but also to destroy the ones that no longer serve you. Many blessings have been bestowed upon us throughout our lives, but only by those who came before us, 
who had matured spiritually enough to make good use of them. They really had to put in the effort to achieve their goal. Those of you who are here to aid with this transition are part of something very special. The power to be a channel through which other people might experience the emotions and insights they need is a tremendous blessing. You have been endowed with the power to eliminate the planet. This brightness is not something you invented. It has always been a part of you. You do shine bright. You are not here for yourself, I know that. And if you don't shine your light on others, well then who will? More love will come into your life in proportion to the amount of love you put out into the cosmos. More love in your life means more opportunities to discover who you are and expand your horizons. You came here to rediscover who you really are, to learn more about yourself and your goals in life. Finding your true passion ensures even when times are tough, you'll have something driving you ahead. The frequency at which we now exist is reflected in our lives. And it is time to accept that. If you are not in harmony with the greatest frequency, your experience of life will reflect that. There will be a sense of dissatisfaction and a sense that your life isn't unfolding as you would have hoped. The frequency at which you are living is also reflected in the way you think and feel. You will continue to draw more of the same thoughts and attitudes into your life if you take an all or nothing approach. For in life, nothing is all or nothing. It's a little bit of something and a little bit of something else. You have the power to alter this by adjusting your mental and emotional patterns to be more in harmony with your greatest vibrating self. Your thoughts and perceptions of yourself and the world influence how you present yourself to the world physically. If you don't value yourself or think that other people are better than you, it will show in every area of your life, including your relationships, your health, finances and career. When such ideas are entertained, success is impossible. You get to choose the daily vibration that best suits your mood. So pick carefully. You also get to choose the people that surround you. On whose vibration you also get energy or people that drain your energy. Another choice you have to make most carefully. If you want to know that you have complete control over how often and for how long you feel your vibration on your adventure, I will accompany you. I don't want to sleep through any of your miraculous happenings. I want to be awake, wide-eyed, and looking at every step you take. For you, my dear friend, are very very important to me. So that is why I'm here, to help you through all of them, every step of the way. I want to help you change your perceptions of yourself. I want to help you see the truth for what it really is. But most of all, I want to help you ascend to a version of yourself that is most suited, a version you can be ever so proud of. 
My dear friends, as always, we love you deeply and wish for you to have the most abundant and joyous life possible. Have a wonderful day. Is there anybody out there? Driven through the darkness Looking for the sunrise Sometimes it feels like we're so far away Trying to keep our heads above the waves